And welcome back. College Now is CUNY's largest collaborative program offering dual enrollment in high school as well as in college. Now, the goal of the program is to help high school students, or I should say students, meet high school graduation requirements and then prepare them for academic and social success in college. Joining me now and sharing more details is the director of College Now program at Bronx Community College, Susana Rivera. And uh, thank you so much for being with us. Yeah, I'm glad to have you. So what I want to talk about this for a moment because it is a huge transition for a student to go to high school to college. But I know that you do a good job of really like bridging the gap and making sure that students really are able to deal with the academic and then also the social environment as well. Yes, well, actually, I call college now preview to college. When I do presentations to students, I say um, this will be your preview to college. Um, in college now, students get to um, preview college. Um, classes are taught um, by faculty from Bronx Community College. Um, it's an after-school program for students where they come to the school, to the college to take classes. And there they learn how to socialize with other high school students like themselves participating in the program, but also to the, um, to the college students and um, the college community. So um, it really prepares students for, um, for college. And when you see students come through your door, what do you identify as some of the biggest challenges that they have in making this transition? Well, oftentimes our students are first generation going to college, and sometimes they don't have that support at home. So when they come to us, they have a lot of questions. Um, sometimes um, they don't know, you know, about financial aid, what is financial aid. Sometimes we just we sit down with them to discuss, you know, what is the difference between a two-year um, college or four-year college, um, financial aid, um, and, you know, other, other things that um, they need to learn in order to survive in college. So oftentimes we just have to sit down with them and just help them understand, you know, um, how college works. Um, you know, we just teach them how college works and, and, and we answer any questions they may have. Um, we also try to incorporate them to, to, to the college community by um, introducing them to different offices like the um, writing center, tutoring center, where they can find help. They can get help for um, if they were to struggle or have difficulties with the classes. You know, we have, res uh, uh, we have resources for them at the college and we introduce them to them knowing that, you know, you're not here alone, we're here to support you. And if you need help, you can always come and talk to us. When you talk about eligibility, uh, you know, who's eligible when you talk about being able to participate in these great services that you have? Uh, what are the requirements for somebody? And uh, yeah, tell us who's eligible. Yes, yeah, so eligibility requirement for college now, um, usually work with 11th and 12th graders, those are junior and seniors, um, high school students. And we look at um, their regions. Well, students haven't taken the regions for the past two years because of the pandemic. But what we look at is their overall um, high school average. For us at BCC, um, is 75. If they have an overall high school average of 75. And we also look at their um, English classes. If they, have, if they have completed their English courses with 75 and higher, and they are junior and seniors, they, that qualifies them. Um, to participate in our college credit courses. Yeah. And so as the students are participating, talk to us about the, you know, the atmosphere. Because for them, as I said, you're really trying to get yourselves ready for another educational, you know, another educational round. And it's not easy. Uh, there's got to be a lot of uh, anxiety and things of that nature. How are you preparing students in the area of that? Because that's really huge to make that jump from, High school to college, it becomes a whole new world. High school, I know a few of my students, you know, I've got a lot of students in class, but then when I get to a campus, there's a difference between a high school and a campus. Well, this is why I said this is the beauty of college. Now they get to preview it, they get a, a they get an ID, and like um, we do an orientation before classes begin. Um, pre pandemic, we would do an orientation and bring the students on campus before classes start. And we would just walk them through um, all of our campuses, take them to where the class, the class that they sign up for is going to take place. Um, and we introduce them to the library, to, to the um, cafeteria. Like I said, all the resources like the computer labs, just in the event that they need the help, they, they can go there. 
but also we introduce them to the college environment. Oftentimes we invite other programs, we sometimes invite admissions to come and talk to them and other resources on campus so that the students um, start get, getting comfortable. And by the time they, the semester finish, like they go for a whole semester to a college campus. And I always tell them, well, people would not know if you're coming from a high school unless you tell them, because when you're here, you're a college student. So, uh, and this is how we introduce them to, to the college life. And, and, and they start getting used to and comfortable um, coming to college every day, um, visiting you know, the campus, mingling with other, with other students like themselves, because um, the way College Now classes work is that we, um, we have exclusive cohort for high school students taking College Now classes, meaning that they don't take classes with other college students only high school students in those classes, but the faculty teaching them are from Bronx Community College. But when they are, when they on campus, they are mingling with everyone else, um, college students and, and everything. So that's... Yeah, I, I want to ask, you know, now that they're in and they're participating, talk to me about performance. What are you seeing in terms of performance and completion rates? Because as I said, it's a little overwhelming. Some people stick with it, some don't. What are you seeing by way of performance? Well, um, we offer actually our students the first year seminar that is offered through college now. We adapted, um, and this is the freshman course that college students take during the first semester. And we adapted it to our population. So um, we offer that class to students and I, we recommend students um, to take that class first because it is an introduction to, um, to, college, to college life. Um, so once they take that class, they feel more comfortable and they learn. They learn about the impact a, ne a negative um, grade um, um, would have on their um, GPA. And that's just for them to introduce, you know, so that they could understand this is, this is serious. You have to take this class serious. Um, we do have some withdrawals, you know, uh, some, sometimes students withdraw, but majority of them, our withdrawal rate is um, about 15 to 16%, um, very similar to, to the college. Um, students who stay, they, it shows um, central office is tracking the data and we see that um, students who do college now um, and go on to college, they do better. And overall, it, um, college now classes also help students with their high school performance. So students who do college now, they, they, they do better. They do better. And those who take it seriously, um, they they do excellent and they always come back and thank us, especially when they go to college and, you know, they get um, the val their classes validated. They don't have to retake those classes. They come back and thank us. They, oh my God, thank you so much. This is great. It was a very positive experience. While they're in the program, sometimes they're not really getting how much they're learning. It's when they get to college, when they realize like, oh, Oh, okay. So, oh my God, Ms. Rivera, thank you so much. It was so, so helpful. Um, they feel ahead of the game and they actually find themselves helping others who never got the um, college not experience while they were in high school. Yeah. So. Well, you know, the thing about uh, the thing about this is you get in early, you get an opportunity to see what it's like, and hopefully uh, you're able to make the adjustment. And Susanna, I want to thank you. I'm out of time on this segment, but I want to thank you so much for the work that you're doing and helping our youngsters get prepared uh, for that next level right there in college. Thanks much. Thank you so much. My pleasure. All righty. For more information now, if you want, you can visit their website, bcc.cuny.edu, and then follow them on Instagram and Twitter at bccuny. We encourage you, don't go anywhere. We'll be back with more Open coming up right after this.